Hi, hello. This is a walkthrough of uh, what month are we in? February. February 2023. Here's how the wicking bed's looking. Got some wheat grass growing in there too. This avocado right here was burned, but it looks still alive. And we got a little Palo Verde guild. Here's the Palo Verde. Got some arugula, some succulents down here, some stingy nettle, daikon radish, wheat, and a cactus. And we got the lavender right next to it. Popcorn acacia with some daikon radish under. Here's another avocado in a pot. A bunch of, I think this is Bermuda grass. Looks like a dandelion and some other plant I'm not sure the name of. A sweet potato that I'm not sure survived. The cilantro is looking pretty good next to the red yucca. This little cactus fella. Here is the pomegranate. There's the kale, sage. And we got stinging nettle here with daikon radish, potato, and wheatgrass, cactus all growing together. Right here we have the popcorn acacia with some, looks like California poppies popping up right there behind it. And the stinging nettle right here next to the drip line. We've got the little agave row right here is going pretty strong. Got some cilantro growing there next to the agave. Here's a cactus. Here's a jojoba with some clover next to it and a grass. A freshly planted Washingtonia palm. This will eventually shade off the pond right here once we get that constructed. Over here, we have cacti, Palo Verde, and over there, we have, I think it's a jade plant. The little reddish one there, next to the Bermuda grass little patch. Not sure the name of this cactus, but we got it and it's growing. I got a date palm planted here just because I had a bunch of date palms and other palm trees I wasn't sure where to put, so this is where I decided. Just fixing that drip line real quick. Then we have the wolfberry over there, this Chilean mesquite, and the cassia underneath it, which is now giving off some flowers. Springtime is coming, y'all. All right, now let's walk around. Texas sage, looking good. We have here the plum. Underneath the plum, we got some stingy nettle. Um, some other flowers, I'm not sure what the plants are. Oh, look. Right there, we got a poppy, I believe that is. Got that on the drip line. Some wheatgrass, stingy nettle, daikon radish. Wheatgrass, stingy nettle, daikon radish. Got cactus, the apple tree. Right here we have a lovely little pond. Uh, I should probably plant this dude. <laughs> All right, now we have the grape here that I planted last time I was here. Now I got a little drip line on it. Four, four gallon per hour drip line, this one. And these little emitters are six gallon per hour. Oh, got this cactus doing good. The lacana, the growth on it died back. Must have been winter. We got the bladder pod looking pretty good. And the fig. I pruned up some of the growth that was happening on it. Just the inner stuff, so it's more open on the inside. We got the pomegranate there with the mesquite that are dormant, some wheatgrass, mango. I dug this little basin out, me and my dad. Then let rain fill that up. Same for this one. 
excuse me. And then we have a date palm right here that is still in, in a pot. I'm not sure where I'm gonna plant that one at, honestly. Then we got the daikon radish there next to the palo verde. There's the palo verde. There's the daikon. There's some cilantro down there underneath the guava with stinky nettle. And here we have the Elderica pine. My nephew calls 420. You can see some nice growth coming out the top. This little back corner here. We got some more date palms. It's like, uh, I think it's four date no, Yeah. One, two. Yeah, four date palms are planted there. Whatever survives, survives. Um, if one starts out competing the others, the smaller ones I'm just gonna pluck out. All right here we have the mulberry. Shoot this way. Mulberry and some stingy nettle growing. The cactus with looks like a California poppy growing next to it. The hoho -ho butchery. Hoho -ho butchery with some. I'm not sure if that's a daikon radish popping up or not. But I know it's root mass that's happening in the ground. That's what I want. There's some wheat grass popping up. Cactus, cactus. Palo Verde back there is doing good. Agave's back there is doing good. Added this little drain pipe. Drains off into that basin from this slightly more uphill side. And over here we have the little the little fig with a daikon radish that was eaten by a creature. You can see the radish down there. The top top was eaten by a creature. Then we got some wheatgrass. Clovers, all of that's putting real mass in the ground. The other grapes over there. Let me go check that drip line to make sure it's on. Yep. And that grape eventually gets trellised over the outdoor bathroom. Here's a palo verde, some wheat grass, and another palo verde hidden hidden within the wheat grass. There's a, that's a dead banana, but there's wheat grass growing there to add some root mass. Right here is some wheat grass growing next to this mulberry. Same thing for this. Wheat grass next to the mulberry. Some sorghum, stingy nettle. There we have, I can't really see it too well, but there's the banana yucca next to some grasses, a stingy nettle. Coffee's doing good, purple needle grass is doing good back there. I pruned up some of this mesquite tree just to try to open up the canopy a bit more. And we have a cassia here putting off lovely flowers I don't know if you can see that it's immaculate enjoy right underneath that we have a Mojave I'm sorry banana yucca which I think is just a hybrid of the Mojave yucca and in this pot we have another banana yucca and we have another banana yucca back there at the end of that drip line. And in the final little garden bed, here we have the dwarf olive. They call it olive bush. Uh, all I care about is that it produces olives. <laughs> and we have the red yucca, <laughs> that date palm back there. Some grass, I'm not even sure what kind of grass that is, but it's been growing. It's a perennial for sure. It's been there for a little over a year now. So that's definitely putting in some root mass. Then we have this popcorn acacia 
survived the frost. It's got some damage, but overall it's alive and well. Oh, got this little dude planted. Yeah, that's the walkthrough right now of everything that's happening here.